Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Omar. I am from Mexico and I took my shahada six years ago. I was born in Mexico City and I grew up in a state called Oaxaca, south of Mexico. So I come from a family with my mom got divorced to my dad when I was at the age of uh, five or four, that's what my mom told me. So when she moves to, uh, to Oaxaca, I grew up there. Basically, there is uh, Oaxaca is the south part of Mexico, like I say, and uh, they speak uh, a native language there. So I learned that language too. And uh, I started my uh, high school there. I finished my high school there. And uh, when I finished my high school, I, uh, you know, like uh, there is a lot of like the youth, they like to go to the U.S. And uh, that was my dream to go to the U.S. too. So I, I, I went to the U.S. when I was uh, about 19 years old. Uh, when I uh, went to the U.S.A., uh, I have I stayed with my uncle. And uh, you know, there's no mothers, no one advised you. So I uh, was starting going out with the, like say like the friends. <laughs> we can say that if they're friends. And you know, the, we start going on the street and hang with the, a lot of that kind of people. So after one year, I, I, uh, I got married with my wife, alhamdulillah, I still married with, uh, with my wife, the same woman, alhamdulillah. And uh, uh, at, that, at that time, I used to hang with uh, people who used to uh, uh, hang on the street, like, uh, you know, like uh, gang members. And I remember one time I, uh, we went out with these guys and uh, he uh, comes out with a problem with another guy, I, I guess uh, gang members. And uh, they have a gun, and they almost they almost kill us there. But Alhamdulillah, I think this is baraka from Allah was that nothing happened to us. And uh, from that, I uh, I want to be a better a better person. And I used to go like uh, every Sunday to the church. Like I ca I come from a Christian Christian family, and uh, I used to go like every Sunday to the church. To, to hear the, what the, the preacher says, but uh, I was I, I, I think I was searching for something else because uh, I can see on uh, the time when I went to the church like a lot of a lot of stuff like uh, not good, but uh, I still I love uh, being Christian at that time so I, I just want to be Christian right. So all of a sudden, I have a friend who is uh, who works with uh, a man from Middle East, and he told me that he needs uh, work it, someone who uh, worked with him, and uh, I told him that uh, also I need a job. So he gave me his cell phone number and told me like, okay, you call him and tell him that uh, I am your friend and just like go ahead. So I did so. I call him like every day I used to call him I said like hey guy you have a job for me please I need a job you know I have my family I have to support them and uh, after that uh, he told me like okay you're gonna work with me and subhanallah what that, that was a guy from uh, Jordan but he's from Jordan from uh, Circassian so these guys uh, are uh, like uh, tough guys <laughs> mashallah so when I met that guy, I, 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 uh, we used to do uh, fire safety, so we do a lot of physical work, and I see this guy like uh, <laughs> very tough guy. So all of a sudden, I, I noted that uh, every time that 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 does as uh, sev uh, several times at the day that he goes and uh, he told me, he, he he used to tell me like okay wait me five minutes. And he goes and he wash his, his, his face and his hand and he goes behind the utility truck. We have a, used to have an utility truck and he goes in the back and he used to do some stuff like, you know, I, I just go and put my, my face like up like, oh, what, what this guy is doing? Like, you know, what, what is this? And he used to come back and say like, okay, let's go to work. And I'm like kind of, uh, I don't want to ask him because he, he was my boss, right? Like, what are you doing this? Like, I don't want to ask him that. So anyways, uh, he always, we always like, because uh, we do fire uh, safety, we always enroll, like we, uh, we go from north to south and east, west and all that stuff. 
So anyways, uh, uh, I remember one day we came like about uh, before Maghreb. I remember that time. And uh, the, I, I, he always uh, listened to the Quran. He always listened to the Quran. But that day especially, I, I, uh, I heard it so beautiful. I heard so beautiful. And I told him like, uh, who's that singer? I, I thought there was a singer, right? <laughs> So I told him like, oh, uh, mashallah, you know these guys, I didn't say mashallah, but I said like, oh, you, dude, uh, look this guy, he has a beautiful voice, like, what he's singing, like, he's singing for, for the woman or what, because his voice is so beautiful. And he looked at me like this and he said like, uh, wait, are you crazy? This is not music, this is the Quran. So I tell him like, the Quran, what do you mean the Quran? This is music. And he says, no, 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 this is Quran. This is, uh, we are Muslim, and that's the way we recite the Quran. And I said like, you're Muslim, like, like what? Like, you guys like uh, the other terrorists? You're gonna blow yourself, something like that? And he says like, no, 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 listen, dude, uh, uh, this is not Islam. So he started uh, telling me about a little bit about Islam, telling me like, dude, you know this is not Islam, you, the Islam is not you go and blow yourself or kill people or do stuff like that. And anyways, uh, from that day and up, I, I like to listen this this Quran, and I always ask him like, okay, can you put that tape? Can you put that tape? Can you put every day, every day? I remember. So all of a sudden, there is uh, there is two places that I like to hear from this uh, Quran. And I asked him, like, uh, because of course he speaks Arabic, and uh, can you translate for me what he's saying? And he says, like, okay, but this is two special parts. And uh, he told me, okay, to begin, this is a surah to Al Imran, Ali Imran, the family of Imran. And uh, and I told myself, like, oh, maybe that's why I like it, because it comes from the family of Maryam and Jesus, and because I'm Christian, maybe that's why I, I love to hear this. And he says, okay, I'm gonna translate for you. And he, uh, the two places you like. So I say, okay, put the tape. And he put the tape. I was listening, listening, listening. And they say, okay, stop there. And uh, can you translate for me what he say? And he says, like, okay. And this part, uh, Allah was says the the only religion in his size is the Islam. And when he says that, I told like, man, this guy is pulling my leg. Like, he telling me like that, and because he's a Muslim and I'm a Christian. No way. There is no such a thing. I I cannot like exactly this part of the Quran, right? And he, and I told him, okay, put the put the put put it, put it back, okay. And he says, okay. And uh, we start listening again and again. And uh, he says, okay, okay, stop right there. Can you translate the other part? And he says, like, okay, this part that uh, Allah was Jal says, I have been choose uh, from all over the the women in the world, Maryam. And the other part says, like, I met Isa the same way I met Adam. When he told me this, I said, like, no way, this guy is joking. Like, how come I would like these two parts? Like, there is no way. I'm a Christian, and he's telling me these parts, like, that means, like, there is no way. And he told me, like, no, 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 this is true. Like, I'm telling you the truth. And tomorrow I will bring you a Quran in Spanish, and you will read it yourself. And I said, oh, sounds good. Uh, I like that. I like the idea. So next day, he brought me a Quran in Spanish, and he told me, like, okay, listen, from this ayah to this ayah, you read, and you will, uh, you will understand, and it's in your language. Okay, go ahead. And he put, I remember, he put the table and started reading, okay, this, 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 okay, oh, I found out he wasn't lying. He says the truth, like, oh my God, what, what is this? And I go to the second part, and oh my God, yeah, yes, he's right, he's right, he wasn't lying. So I said like, oh my God, and he told me like, okay, you know, go home and uh, read the Quran and just read it. And I went home and I read a couple pages and then I put like, I'm a Christian, what, what I'm doing reading this Quran? I don't want to be terrorist. So I just put it away. So anyways, uh, all of a sudden, because I met these guys and uh, I see him that uh, even though he's a tough guy, he has something in his heart that he's very kind. He's very kind with the people. He always asks me like, do you need something? Are you okay? You this and that. And I see something so beautiful in this guy. So I say like, uh, but I don't want to be, I don't want to be like them. So I gonna go to my church, right? Because I'm a Christian. So I used to go more, more, even more uh, often to the church. Like, I don't want to be Muslim. So I went a couple of times and I see like, um, 
I remember one day I went to midnight at uh, they celebrate like uh, the Christian and uh, I was in the, the US at this time and the Mexican they have this virgin gold called Guadalupe so they celebrate uh, their birthday her birthday at uh, 12 a.m. so I remember I went to this church and that was a mariachi music you know Mexicans and all this stuff and I saw a guy drunk beside me like uh, this guy is drunk and you know there's a label short shirt and you know it's almost nothing there and the perfume like very strong perfume like and I was thinking like man this is this is not right I start thinking like this is not right like this this is the Christianity so after that uh, he I remember that uh, one time that was a summer I remember it was summer he invited me to go to 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 the, for the first time to go to the message and that was sovereign time so he told me like because I used to wait on the truck inside the truck like for the 45 minutes until the hotel is over and he told me like this time he told me like okay you, do you like to go inside and I asked him like do you guys have AC inside I said yes oh okay of course I like because uh, the AC on the truck was broke so we don't have AC so that was the reason that that uh, that I went the first time to, to, to a message so I said I went inside and I said and I see like everywhere like okay what is what is the church and he told me like we don't have chairs you sit on the floor okay we sit on the floor and uh, when I stared there uh, I see only men coming inside inside and I, I told myself like okay so the ladies where the ladies uh, <laughs> the church we mix like uh, men and women sitting beside each other is no problem we even we shake hands like how you doing how you doing so uh, that day I didn't put attention of the hot bar. I just sit and uh, enjoy the AC, right? Because I need the AC. And um, next uh, next uh, Friday and uh, Thursday, he told me like, uh, you wanna go on Friday because uh, you better dress good to go. And I said, yeah, AC, why not? And then uh, I went uh, several times. And I start uh, paying attention to the hot bar. And uh, I went to this guy, to my friend, and I asked him like, okay, what, what is this guy, what is you guys do uh, before the prayer? I, I saw like you guys wash your face and your hand and your feet, what is that? And he told me like, this is like the purification, so before you, you pray. And uh, I remember he told me like, you want to pray? And I said, yeah, yeah, well, I told myself like, he's my boss, like, I don't want to be fired. So yes, I want to pray. <laughs> so he told me like, hey, come, I'm going to show you. And he said, okay, you do three times, you wash your mouth, your nose, and all that, the, 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 the stuff, right? The purification. And uh, after that, uh, I, asked, I asked him like, okay, uh, what is Islam? I want to know about Islam. And what is Ruku? So you, what, what is the meaning behind? And then he start telling me, okay, you know, Ruku is this, Ruku is this. What is the reason? What is that? And I used to have like hard questions, and he tell me like, I cannot answer. You go to to to, to the sheikh and you ask him. So he introduced me to the sheikh, and he told me the sheikh, okay, this is a, a Mexican guy who worked for me, and he wants to know about these and these and these and these uh, questions. And the sheikh used to answer me, right? So. Um, I ask uh, almost two years, two years asking about Islam, and uh, after I became Muslim, I have a dream, and I saw someone beside me. So I, I, I saw myself like in, uh, in a street, like small street in a village, and someone's coming from from the front, uh, and someone's coming from the back. So that was a mat inside, uh, beside, uh, uh, on the road, and we hide on the mud, inside the mud, you know? And then uh, the guy, after the soldiers, they, they pass us, and they, uh, the guy, the other guy who was beside me, he told me like, okay, let's go, uh, let's go see Muhammad. So, okay, let's go see Muhammad. Okay, let's go see Muhammad. Okay, and, and I remember that uh, in my dream, uh, we were walking, and he told me like, stop right there. And I saw like back, a guy with dressing on the white, with two women beside it, dressed white too. 
And you know, uh, this thing like the Saudians, the, the white thing, I don't know how you call it, the, the white thing they use the Saudians, he, he used to have in his, he used to have in his shoulder and the guy he told to the woman is like, cover Mohammed, and they put it in his head like this. And then he told me like, okay, come over. And then I come and then and he, he look at me and I just look at, 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 at him. And uh, after that, the, the, the guy he told me, okay, now let's go eat. So I remember uh, we sat in uh, like in a circle and they brought like uh, silver plate, silver plates with uh, apples, red apples, and uh, we start eating. And then I woke up. After uh, three weeks, I told my friend this dream. I told him, "Oh, you know, remember the other day I was dreaming this and this and this and this." And then he almost stopped on the freeway. <laughs> he was driving the freeway like, ah, "What? What? What? Say it again." He said, "You know, I have this dream, but I saw this guy, and he took me with, with another guy. He dressed all white, and his name is Mohammed. And was two women, and we eat some apples. And uh, I says, "Lord, wait, 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 wait. You know that uh, there is no way. That must be the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam." And he told me, "You know why? Because uh, there is no way. There is a hadith uh, narrated from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who says that the shaitan doesn't take his his form of his body." When he told me this, and uh, this, this two years ago, uh, where I was studying like Islam, I said like, you know, this is it. Like, and he told me like, you know, there is people like, they do qiyam and lay, they wake up, they cry to see the Prophet, and you just like, not even a Muslim, and you saw him. And for me, this was a shock. Like, believe me, like I was like, oh, you know, this is it. This is it. Uh, if I don't become Muslim, like, uh, I'm crazy guy. So that was uh, the reason that uh, I became Muslim and I told him like, you know what, uh, I want to take my shahada. I know enough, two years of questioning, I know enough to, to see uh, that uh, Islam is a true religion and uh, I took my shahada. Alhamdulillah, uh, now I am a Muslim, uh, my life has changed and uh, also my wife, he took her, her shahada. And Alhamdulillah, you know, my family saw my change uh, and they, they like it. Like, you know, first my, when I called my mom and I told her, like, mom, listen, I am Muslim. She got uh, scared. She told me, like, oh, my God, you know, watch it. What you going to do? And I told her, like, don't worry. I'm not going to go blow myself. And he's just like, OK, don't do it. And uh, I just like, they change. I change and they, they see the change. You know, even I, I call, like, my mom and I told him about Islam and she's like, oh, she, she, she always like, oh, I, I'm so glad that you became a Muslim. You know, I, I, when I talk to my mom, I, I tell him like about Islam and she's like, you know, I really like this religion. And inshallah, I hope they, they may Allah was a wajal, I guide them to Islam and all the people too, inshallah. Okay, so Alhamdulillah, I just want to advise to the people who like to sit there about Islam, you know, uh, you know, if you want to go and uh, build a wood chair you go to the carpenter you don't go to the electricity guy so that's the way you go your uh, your information you know you don't go your information from the tv you go to the books read the quran there is a lot of good books about the Tawa of islam and uh, i advise to all the people to really want to know about islam like don't don't even listen to, to the TV. You know, go. There is a lot of libraries, and you can go and search. There is a lot of messages to go and ask them. And Jazakallah uh, khaira to roadside to Islam, and Barakallah fiq. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sahabat arrahmah.com. Uh, dunia ini dari dulu sampai sekarang sama aja. Isinya orang beriman, orang kafir, kemudian zabzabina baina dzalik la ilaha illa wa la ilaha illa orang munafik. Hanya saja kalau dulu Abdullah bin Ubay bin Salul dengan omongannya, bisikannya sekarang lebih canggih dalam bentuk Twitter, BBM, WhatsApp, Instagram, Mem. Maka kita lebih kuatkan lagi pengetahuan kita, semangat kita di bidang ini. Jihad yang mudah-mudah ambil kursus IT. Terus perdalam ilmu-ilmu ini, update terus. Di sini nilai jihad kita ke depan. Jadi ya ketika orang berada di medsos, 
Dia berada di antara dua pilihan Sebagai orang yang awam Dia tidak mengerti mana yang paling berkualitas Mana baik, mana buruk Maka ketika kita punya informasi yang seimbang di dalam Maka kita sudah berjihad di dalam Menjahaza ghazian fakat ghaza Siapa yang mempersiapkan alat-alat perang Maka sesungguhnya dia sudah berperang Perang kita sekarang tidak berbunyi Perang dalam senyap Berkecamuk dalam diam Maka kami isinya Sahabat-sahabat Adalah Sampul, casing Maka kita sama berjuang Siapa yang paling mulia di antara kita Inna akramakum indallah atskot Terus berjuang Jangan pernah menjelang Allah Terima kasih Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum